hello guys so in today's video i'm going to be explaining another feature in the fractals that is the generate by signals not a lot of people talk about this too but it is very important and very useful okay starting out you need to right click then you see the third option right here which is the generate by signals okay i'm not i'm gonna unclick all these features and we are gonna start out with the basics first of all you will see that all the tickers you have right here in your watch list are gonna be shown right here okay for the analysis i'm gonna be using qqq wave one daily you should use this thing on the wave one daily it works the best you can use an hourly you can use on the 15 minute you can use an any time frame you want but wave one daily works the best according to me okay right now we are gonna be clicking on the wave one daily so we have chosen that okay i want to look at the generate by signals data for qqq wave one daily now you have to choose the l1 all here all of the times i'm gonna be telling you reason behind it basically it's that you will get the best data from using the uh, l1 daily because like it takes in all the lows that have formed after that l1 okay of course in this case we did not see any kind of uh, more low formation but like in cases like these you can actually predict by using only l1 setting okay so always use the l1 settings then you can actually get the best probabilities with the generate by signals now you must be seeing these two options which is the l1 visible and the l1 all so basically the l1 visible shows you all the l1 values basically collects all the data from the l1 values in that past 200 days but l1 all uses all the l1 values that have ever formed and that can actually give you better results okay so just click on the l1 all of course if you want to test the generate by signals you can use the l2 all but here we did not form any l2 so there is no logic of using it. okay as simple as that basically just use the l1 all right here we had the l1 right here so the market is considering this l1 and now we're gonna get data in respect to this l1 that has formed right here okay now let us just start out with the analysis of it right we have the simple long and the simple short right here now i'm going to be explaining what these things you see are so basically they generate buy signals shows you a probable path that the market can choose of course the market is not obliged to actually go for that path but it can definitely follow right here we actually follow the bullish path right here of course you need you, the market won't stick to it but it's gonna uh, follow that same pattern that has been uh, formed on our path okay we form the bullish path right here you guys can see now one of the most important thing is the bull eye right here that is the target below the pivot we have this target right here okay we got the probable path for that target and the probable path for this target right here okay as simple as that nothing very complicated you have the slider right here you guys can see my cursor basically you want to if you want to look forward many more days for example i want to look forward for friday right here of course uh, we had one day holiday so the system did not consider that but of course so we can actually just make out ourselves that this is friday right here so the system is telling me that we have 69 percent probability we can see another h value but at the same time we also have 31 percent probability we can see short side on qqq wave one daily okay i'm gonna be keeping this easy so i'm gonna be explaining the examples that have been already form okay as simple as that now right here you have some uh, options to choose some more indicators right here so i'm gonna be 
clicking on all of the important ones first of all then i'm going to be showing you their meaning okay first of all you must be seeing this uh red and green line so basically the red lines you see on the system right here that is your resistance okay that is the resistance vector and you see the green lines or you can see green support right here that is the supportive vector that is very different from the vector we have in the fractals okay that is not the purple vector but this is calculated by the system of course the math is proprietary so we don't know about that okay as simple as that now we also have one more important thing i want to talk about that is the targets the system also makes out probable targets okay now these targets should be considered by you if you are predicting some kind of rally because these targets can actually uh, choose your trends and can actually help you manage your trades now you must be seeing these red and green dots right here the green dots right here and the red dots right here so basically these are previous 200 days highs and lows for that particular day right because of that only the system is able to calculate the probability that we are going to see another h value or we are going to see at l value okay as simple as that right here you can see that the system is telling that in the past 200 days we actually saw 64.3 percent chance that we are gonna have another h value or an h1 formation of course it just makes out that we are gonna see a bullish market or we're gonna see a bearish market for that particular day i mean if you just go out on your charts and look for the same stuff i just told you right now you will definitely be able to analyze with it it's very simple trust me okay if i want to look for tomorrow tomorrow is thursday right so today is 10th of july 2024 so i want to look for 11th of july that what is the probability that we are going to see another h value or l value okay so the system is telling me that we have 66.7 percent chance that we will see another h value which means that we are going to see another h8 right here on qqq wave one daily according to the past 200 days of data okay as simple as that so powerful so useful now i'm going to be showing you the before and after of it so basically a image is gonna pop up in front of your screen and then you can see the result of it okay so i hope that this video was very helpful for you all basically if you don't want to use the green and red vector that is okay but you gotta use all the stuff i've marked out right here okay very useful very helpful and of course very important because then you can know the probability of the next day see the power of power of the system that it is in itself telling you that okay rug of tomorrow we have 66.7 percent chance we will see another h value so that just automatically gives you a signal that yeah okay i can look for long trades tomorrow some days we will see that we have 80 percent chance of long trade okay so that is an actionable setup of course you don't want to action uh on this setup 66.7 percent chance but when you will see 80 percent chances of course you need to look at those right of course we have this thing right here now that's just simple resistance of course th that is not very important but that just uses the again the past data of 200 days for the h values and plots of the resistance that have been followed same is for below the pivot that is the green support okay so this is the end of the video so i hope that you guys actually found this info very useful take care keep learning and stay safe